the second you step foot outside that bubble, there's a huge stigma. Like you can't tell Uber drivers, like, like, what do you do for work? Where are you going? You can't tell them what you do. It's dangerous. Yeah. You can't tell people next to you on a plane, like, oh, I'm like, I was on a plane the other day and it's like, he like, the guy next to me like makes greenhouses and he was telling me all about his work and then it came my turn. He's like, so what do you do? And I'm like, um, uh, mm, uh, or like, Family, like big family dinners, like obviously my inner family knows, like my mom and, my, you know, my dad and like my little brother, like they know. But like when we have extended family like dinners and stuff for like the holidays and like my mom's inviting like her husband's brothers over and stuff like that that don't necessarily know, they all look at me like I am a deadbeat or a loser because no one says what I do for work. So everyone just thinks like I float around in L.A. like not doing anything for work and like living off of my mom or something when and in fact, like I've been supporting myself completely since I've been 17, but no, like my mom can't tell them that mm -hmm. because be like, oh no, she makes really good money in LA and does this and that. My mom's like, oh, you know, she's like taking some classes still and you know. She's doing some pottery. She's doing some pottery. <laughs> and then like everyone like looks at me like I'm a loser. Yeah. And it's really annoying in like real life. And honestly, like I get really tired of it because like I do work really hard. And I do, like, work a lot. And it just sucks that, like, when I have those moments in, like, the real world of mm -hmm. being, like, this still isn't getting better and this stigma is never going to end.